Hey mathematicians, so one special theorem about circles and tangent lines states that if a line is tangent to a circle, then that line is perpendicular to the radius. That just means that the radius and the tangent line are going to always create um, a 90 degree angle. So let me give you an example where we'll use this theorem. Let's say that the measure of angle E is 48 and we need to solve for X. Well, we've got a big right triangle right here, right? And the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So to solve for X, we just need to do 180 minus the other two angles. So minus 48 minus 90. And that gives you 42. So X is equal to 42. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, let's do another one using this theorem. This time around, I'm going to give you the side lengths of the triangle and we're gonna find a missing side length. So let's say that this side's equal to three, this side's equal to four, and I want you to find this little section. All right, so we've got a right triangle and anytime you're looking for a missing side of a right triangle, you're gonna use good old Pythagorean theorem, all right? So Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and b are the legs of the right triangle and the legs are the sides that make out a right angle. So if we refer back to the original question, the legs are three and four and we're missing the hypotenuse. So let's plug this stuff into Pythagorean theorem. Three squared plus four squared equals C squared. Three squared plus four squared is 25. So C is equal to five. Now that gives us the length of the entire hypotenuse of that right triangle, but not the section we need. So here's something to think about here. Let's break up that section into two parts that five, we'll break it up. So we've got this section here and then we've got the X. Now the orange part I highlighted, that's equal to three because it's a radius. And the other radius is also equal to three. So to find the value of X, you just wanna subtract those two numbers. So X is equal to five minus three, which is two. 